For number eight on 44 stop 44, we stay on the gridiron with the second of three Coldwater Cavaliers to crack our top 10. He had to be patient, waiting for his turn to start at quarterback, but once he got his chance, he never looked back. <laughs> Winning, Coldwater class of 2010 football and baseball. As a senior, led Coldwater to the state title game, earning Division V Player of the Year honors, as well as first team All Ohio and first team All MAC, throwing for close to 3,700 yards and 40 touchdowns, both school records, while also rushing for 1,000 yards. His total yardage that season is also a Cavalier program record. Had a touchdown thrown the 2007 state championship victory. Three times all MAC in baseball, earning second team all Ohio honors as a junior, also was all Mac in basketball. He had a cannon for a right arm. He he made great decisions as well. Um, a really a really cerebral quarterback, but he had a very good arm and could fit the ball into some areas that, that not a lot of guys can. What Keith brought, you know, especially as a senior then, um, just his poise always, always almost it almost looked like he was lazy. In football and basketball and baseball, he was so smooth and and so good that, that it's like, come on, Keith, get it going. But he, he was. And, and so that was kind of a cool thing. A real, really good leader. Um, and, you know, just, just so naturally a good athlete who, who worked at it. And just a great, really great player in all three sports. We always compared him to Scott Rowland. I mean, Scott Rowland played for the Reds. We all grew up in Washington, Scott Rowland. But Keith had similar tools at that age. Uh, great arm, great instinct playing third base, good power, uh, actually an excellent pitcher as well. But uh, and he had just great hands. I mean, Corey had great hands at shortstop. But, uh, you know, Keith probably had the best set of hands we've seen at a player I've seen here in 20-plus years in infield. I think, I think there was a... There was a there was a uh, some some thought about should I go baseball should I go uh, football so uh, you know I think baseball was close I, I think there was some talk about him maybe getting drafted and so I th I think that was I think that was a and, and certainly because after his junior year you know he hadn't you know no one was recruiting him at that time I was one of those people that thought as a junior that Keith Wenning is probably better than Corey Clanky another guy who's on this list at at quarterback that that Keith could have played quarterback his junior season, but you're right, he had to wait his turn. You know, we, we there were a couple times during the season where we thought we thought about because two of our best receivers by the end of the year were kind of banged up. We were like, wow, should we should we move Corey out the receiver and and uh, bring Keith in if things aren't going well? And so he 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 you know he took it like a man. Coach Reed was really good about that about uh, making sure those guys uh, knew their role and and knew that uh, hey Keith, we we, we got a guy uh, in front of you that won a state you know, helped us win a state title and you're going to get your time and he, he played and I really think it's hard for people to understand if you take yourself back to when you were 16, 17, 18 and you think that you're better than the guy you're playing against, a lot of people these days either quit or they go to a different school and Keith Wenning waited his turn, he played wide receiver and then when he finally got to be the starting quarterback, uh, just did incredible things at Coldwater and then at Ball State and now in the NFL. A really, really good quarterback. Uh, but Keith just, just, again, was very coachable, very humble. Look at him now. I mean, you talk to him now like it was just 10 years ago. He's the same person. He's the same kid. He's just now playing for the bank with the co anymore. So it's kind of neat. Was a four-year starting quarterback at Ball State, setting several Cardinal passing records before spending the last two seasons in the NFL with the Baltimore Ravens and then the Cincinnati Bengals. Keith winning number eight on 44's top 44 male athletes. Last season, Winning was the backup quarterback for the Cincinnati Bengals' final three regular season games following Andy Dalton's thumb injury.